Shakespeare's Sonnet 35 No more be grieved at that which thou hast done. Roses have thorns, and silver fountains mud. Clouds and eclipses stain both moon and sun. And loathsome canker lives in sweetest bud. All men make faults, and even I in this. Authorizing thy trespass with compare. Myself corrupting, salving thy amiss. Excusing thy sins more than thy sins are. For to thy sensual fault I bring incense. Thy adverse party is thy advocate. And, gainst myself a lawful plea commence. Such civil war is in my love and hate. That I an accessory needs must be. To that sweet thief which sourly robs from me. Sonnet 35 Explained William Shakespeare's Sonnet 35 is a beautiful expression of the complexities of love and forgiveness. In these lines, the speaker conveys a sense of acceptance and understanding, acknowledging the imperfect nature of humanity and the presence of both beauty and flaws in the world. The imagery of roses with thorns, as well as silver fountains tainted with mud, vividly captures the coexistence of purity and impurity in life. The reference to clouds and eclipses staining both the moon and the sun reflects the idea of imperfections affecting even the most powerful and radiant aspects of existence. Furthermore, the sonnet delves into the theme of forgiveness, portraying a deep internal conflict within the speaker. The lines illustrate the struggle to reconcile conflicting emotions of love and resentment, leading to a profound introspection on the nature of forgiveness and understanding. The complex interplay of love and hate, advocacy and accusation, and the admission of personal fault collectively reflect the intricacies of human relationships and the intricate dance of emotions within oneself. Shakespeare's masterful use of language and metaphor emphasize that imperfections and mistakes are an inherent part of life and love. 